General Adrian Dietrich Lothar von Trotha, born on the 3rd of July 1848 in Magdeburg, was a German military commander during the European New Colonial Era. As a brigade commander of the East Asian Expedition Corps, he was involved in suppressing the Boxer Rebellion in Qing China, commanding troops which made up the German contribution to the Eight Nation Alliance. He also served as governor of German Southwest Africa, now Namibia, and commander-in-chief of its colonial forces, in which he suppressed a native rebellion during the Herero Wars. He was widely condemned for his brutality in the Herero Wars, particularly for his role in the genocide that led to the near extermination of the Namaqua Khoikhoi and the Herero. Lothar von Trotha belonged to a prominent Saxon noble family. He was married twice. First, on the 15th of October, 1872, he married Bertha Neumann, who died in 1905. On the 19th of May, 1912, following his retirement from the service, he married Lucy Goldstein Brinkman, 1881-1958, a second marriage for both. Lucy came from a Frankfurt Jewish family, which had converted to Christianity. Trotha had two sons, who died without known descendants. Born in Magdeburg, the capital of the province of Saxony, Trotha joined the Prussian army in 1865 and fought in the Austro-Prussian and Franco-Prussian wars, for which he was awarded the Iron Cross second class. He was commander of the Lauenburgisches Jäger Bataillon No. 9 for two years in Ratzeburg, before he was deployed to Africa in 1894. In 1894, Trotha was appointed commander of the colonial forces in German East Africa, Rwanda, Burundi, and Tanzania, and was ruthlessly successful in suppressing uprisings there, including the Wahehe Rebellion. While temporarily posted to Imperial China as brigade commander of the East Asian Expedition Corps, he was involved in suppressing the Boxer Rebellion. On the 3rd of May, 1904, he was appointed commander-in-chief of German Southwest Africa, Namibia, and was directed to crush the native Herero Rebellion. Trotha arrived in Namibia on the 11th of June, 1904, when the war against the Herero had been raging for five months. The German command up to that time had little success against the Herero guerrilla tactics. Initially, he too suffered losses. In October 1904, General von Trotha devised a new battle plan to end the uprisings by the Herero. At the Battle of Waterberg, he issued orders to encircle the Herero on three sides, so that the only escape route was into the waterless Omaheke Steppe, a western arm of the Kalahari Desert. The Herero fled into the desert, and Trotha ordered his troops to poison waterholes, erect guard posts along a 150-mile line, and shoot on sight any Herero, be they man, woman, or child, who attempted to escape. To make his attitude to the Herero absolutely clear, Trotha then issued the extermination order saying, I, the great general of the German soldiers, send this letter to the Hereros. The Hereros are German subjects no longer. They have killed, stolen, cut off the ears and other parts of the body of wounded soldiers, and now are too cowardly to want to fight any longer. I announce to the people that whoever hands me one of the chiefs shall receive 1,000 marks, and 5,000 marks for Samuel Maherero. The Herero nation must now leave the country. If it refuses, I shall compel it to do so with the long tube, cannon. Any Herero found inside the German frontier, with or without a gun or cattle, will be executed. I shall spare neither women nor children. I shall give the order to drive them away and fire on them. Such are my words to the Herero people. He further gave orders that, This proclamation is to be read to the troops at roll call with the addition that the unit that catches a captain will also receive the appropriate reward, and that the shooting at women and children is to be understood as shooting above their heads, so as to force them to run away. I assume absolutely that this proclamation will result in taking no more male prisoners, but will not degenerate into atrocities against women and children. The latter will run away if one shoots at them a couple of times. The troops will remain conscious of the good reputation of the German soldier. Trotha defended his policies later in his life. It was and is my policy to use force with terrorism and even brutality. An undisclosed German soldier was reported to have said of the massacres, the death rattle of the dying and the shrieks of the mad, they echo in the sublime stillness of infinity. Trotha's tactics were in marked distinction to that of the Herero leaders, who were, in the main, careful to ensure that only soldiers were attacked. 
Trotha's methods caused a public outcry, which led the Imperial Chancellor Bernhard von Bülow to ask William II, German Emperor, to relieve Trotha of his command. This, however, was too late to help the Herero, as the few survivors had been herded into concentration camps and used as labor for German businesses, where many died of overwork, malnutrition, or disease. Prior to the uprisings, there were estimated to be 80,000 Herero. The 1911 census records 15,000. Trotha's troops also routed the Nama. On the 22nd of April 1905, he sent a message to the Nama, suggesting they surrender, and mentioning the fate of the Herero. The Nama who chooses not to surrender and lets himself be seen in German territory will be shot, until all are exterminated. Those who, at the start of the rebellion, committed murder against whites or have commanded that whites be murdered have, by law, forfeited their lives. As for the few not defeated, it will fare with them as it fared with the Herero, who in their blindness also believed that they could make war successfully on the powerful German emperor and the great German people. I ask you, where are the Herero today? Approximately 10,000 Nama died during the fighting. The remaining 9,000 were confined to concentration camps. On the 2nd of November 1905, Trotha was awarded the Pour le Merit for his services in Africa. 17 days later, Lothar von Trotha returned to Germany and was retired in the next year. In 1910, he was given the character of a general of the infantry. Trotha died of typhoid fever, bilious fever, on the 31st of March 1920 in Bonn. In 1933, the Nazi authorities had named a street in Munich as von Trotha Strat. In 2006, the Munich City Council officially decided to change the name of this street to Herero Strat, in honor of the general's victims. Ochiwarongo, Namibia has a street named after von Trotha, since long before independence. In 2016, calls to rename this street surfaced, and the municipality promised to initiate the renaming in 2017.